to Recycled Book Club. My name is Rachel and today we'll be making this hanging book fern. For this project you'll need a hardcover book, a safety knife or scissors, a glue gun and glue sticks, and some yarn or other hanging materials. So let's get started. So you'll take your hardcover book and want to cut out all the pages. Carefully take your safety knife or scissors to separate the binding from the spine. On both sides. Now we'll want to place our holes in the spine. And measure out some ribbon or other hanging material. and go ahead and attach that first. Now you can either put your knot on the inside where it won't be shown here, or you can knot it on the outside. That part is completely up to you. I'm just going to make mine meet here in the middle with just a basic knot. And then I can adjust my length later here on the outside if I need to. So now we've got our book laid open like this. We're going to take the insides that we cut out and separate them from the binding. I'm just going to keep the pages that have words on them because that's what I like the look of. Then we're going to take our pages and with our glue gun, put a thin strip along one edge to fold over to make our leaves. And we'll do this a bunch of times. it's not even super important that you get to the edges of each page because once you have a little bit of glue on there the hot glue is going to keep it together and then once we folded and put placed our leaves next to each other they'll help keep each other connected and your folding doesn't even have to be precise either just make sure you're not creasing the fluffy part of our leaf so now that we've got a good stack here, we can start placing. I found it easiest to work from the outside of the book to the spine and then from this side back into the spine here. Now we're going to do a strip of glue on the edge and just place it in there. Now it's completely up to you if you want to have all of your words go the same way or have them crisscross each other. Um, that is a complete style choice that you get to decide on. And the leaves don't have to be super close to each other either. 
just a little bit of overlap is perfect. I'm going to get to the middle here and then start on this side. Just make sure you turn them to point out that way. Now if you want a really full book, you can have your leaves closer together. If you want it to be kind of haphazard and more free flowing, you can space them out. Um, like I've got four on this side and only five on this side, just kind of, you know, plants aren't always the same every time. And then we're going to get some leaves a little closer here to bridge this spine gap. That time I did it right on the actual leaf, so that it got really close. And then I'm going to do it again on the actual leaf and turn it this way to bridge that box, that middle part spine. Now you can see we already have a little bit of a fern. Once you get going with your leaves, you can start putting them inside of each other to make the hanging branches. And then you can zigzag them. And just go inside of each other like that to make those long branches. because you're only going to want maybe two to three actual branches and maybe a few short ones on the edge because once you hang it, they'll come together to form the whole fern. For each of the example in this one, I did about 50 to 60 of the leaves, but you can make yours as full as you want. I would make sure you hang it, hold it up to see how it's hanging every once in a while because the glue is going to dry really fast. You're not going to have to wait on this to dry or anything. And there we have it.